Hey, sixth grade families, thank you for joining us. I know this is not what we were anticipating um, for our parent boot camp, but we did need to pivot. Um, per APS guidelines, um, they're wanting us to move all after school back to school nights to be virtual. Um, so we did wanna make sure that we got the same information that we would be sharing with you at the after school portion of boot camp out to you. So you will get that information in this session. Um, but I just wanted to say thank you for viewing this. Again, I'm Chelsea Schultz. I am the sixth grade counselor. Um, you'll get some information today about Parent Portal. You'll get some information today about early checkout. Um, any tech questions, Ms. Poe will be um, giving you guys some information. Um, and as always, if you need anything, certainly feel free to email us. But thank you so much for tuning in. Now we will discuss a few sixth grade Howard frequently asked questions. Regular attendance is very important. However, we understand that occasionally students must leave early or come to school late. If your child must leave early, please send a note to school with that student. Once your child arrives to the school, they will take the note to the main office where they will give Ms. Granderson the note and she will give your student a yellow pass that will allow your student to leave class early. Students will wait on the bench across from the main office upon waiting on arrival from the parent. Once parents arrive, you will sign your child out using the QR code located on the front door. Once you've signed your child out, we will allow your student to leave the building. If your child is tardy, please email Ms. Granderson to, get, to give the reason why um, they are late. If they are tardy coming from a doctor's appointment, make sure you obtain an excuse from the doctor so that Ms. Granderson can record your child's attendance accordingly. For the parent portal, Ms. Granderson is again the contact person. Please see her for your activation key. She will require your ID to confirm that you do in fact have access to your child's information. This is to protect your child's information from falling into the hands of strangers. Once you've received the activation code, you will go to the website on the screen. If you have forgotten your password or need to have it reset, please call client support at 404-802-1000. Student Devices and Parent University, Ms. Poe is the contact. Her email address is tanisha.poe at apsk12.org. We will soon begin to have Parent University classes on Google Classroom, accessing the Parent Portal, and other important platforms. If you email Ms. Poe regarding any of these items, please allow 48 business hours for a response. Ms. Poe is charged with making sure that all students have a device as well as they understand how to use the device. However, unfortunately, Ms. Poe is not the contact for fixing said devices. Devices are fixed by an outside contractor as well as through our client support. And that number again is 404-802-1000. For connections and club sports, please contact Coach Ben Abernathy by emailing him at ben.easley at apsk12.org. Again, please allow 48 hours for a response. 